people sometimes ask me, what is it like to, to be doing research? And my, uh, my answer is roughly that, well, you're in a constant state of confusion. You start with a particular kind of question, a problem. Hopefully, after a certain amount of time, you get on top of it and you start to understand it, but that creates a whole new set of problems. And this just goes on a lifetime. I get very interested in foundational, let's say conceptual problems that arise in physics. The kinds of questions that very often come up in the first pages of a textbook. In physics, you pick up this notion and you run with it very fast and then you develop laws of motion or field equations that are defined with respect to these frames. But if you're a philosopher of physics, you tend to ask yourself, well, wait a minute, what does that mean exactly? What is a frame of reference? Is it a concrete thing? It is, it is an idealization. How do you know it when you see it? How do they find it when they do their physics? Theories are often born in a kind of struggle for existence. Not everything is understood, not everything is worked out. And um, philosophers of physics get caught up in these things and can't get out of them, essentially. It is a, a source of joy and contentment that you can discuss these problems that you're interested in with like-minded colleagues. The Institute for Advanced Studies here in Notre Dame is a kind of Oxbridge College on steroids because we are thrown together in a very intimate way, the various fellows with their diverse research backgrounds. We listen to each other's work and we frequently meet outside of the seminars and indeed very frequently socialize together outside the institute. And for me, it is a really a remarkable experience coming to, getting to know what these, what my fellow fellows are doing, how they approach their problems. Um, that is truly interdisciplinary. That's not the end of the benefits, of course, because you have this opportunity to interact with other people outside of your area. It helps that, that there are people who are fascinated by a broad range of issues, academic issues, and who just like being with people, um, other academics in a, both a formal academic setting and an informal setting. It's hard for me to imagine who wouldn't enjoy it.